Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is something you're all too familiar with, and I guess that's called Too Many Poops. <laughs> too Many Poops is a game for two to six players in which you're going to be trying to collect as many cats as possible and avoid them from over pooping your litter box. And of course, if they get over pooped, you're going to lose. But if you can get enough points before that happens, you're going to win. You're going to be collecting cats based on their colors and colors mean sets and sets mean points. However, if you get cats that are rivals against each other, those cats can then again negate each other and thusly give you no points, but still more poops. You don't want sad cats or mad cats cats along with uh, uh, your poopy litter bin because then they're going to be dumping out more poops and not giving you the quality of life you so need. It's a crazy cat collector game that is going to be uh, a little bit of a race to the finish and a little bit of a take that aspect as well. All right, let's go ahead and show you down below what it looks like and everything included. So here we have the game Too Many Poops and Everything Included. Now, as you can see, it's basically a large deck of cards, but it comes with separate, uh, different types of cards in them. One is going to be your reference cards for all of the six different players. Everybody's going to get one that they can utilize. It tells them the points and how your turn works. These are your different character cards here that are going to give you different types of players. They all basically do the same thing. They just look a little different. And then, of course, your litter box, which has one to five here, and then six to ten, ten being too many poops. Uh, you're also going to get two separate decks of cards. This one is going to be your action deck that has different things that can happen, whether it gives other opponents more poops or whether it gives you less poops or how you move cats along the board and whatnot, different things you could do to mess with players. And then finally, you're going to get a big deck of cat cards. These cat cards are all very similar in style, but have different uh, colorization to them or different like highlights to them. Uh, and of course, they have different names of all the different cats and whatnot. And of course, they're rivals, which happens when they flip over. But uh, anyway, that is the most part where you're in this little small uh, take that cat game. Let's come up and talk about it. So to start the game, it's pretty simple. You're going to get a character along with your little litter box card. You're going to place your character on top of that to signify no poops in the litter box. You're also then going to get a hand of cards, which I believe is two cats and three action cards. Everybody is going to play down one cat in front of them, and uh, it's going to be on the name side facing forward as opposed to the rival side. After that, a player is then going to be able to take their turn. And you start off your turn with four cards and you draw two. Six is your hand limit. And you're always going to have up to six cards in your hand at the beginning of a turn. And then you're going to go ahead and play one cat. You can play it in front of you. You can play it in your opponent's side of the field. Or you can play it in the wild. The wild is kind of like the middle of the board. And they can be transferred along randomly throughout using the action cards. Getting cats in front of you is important, but it also indicates more poops. Now, you want in this game, specifically from the reference card, to gather uh, cards of the same cards color. If you get, have one of the same color, it's worth one, two, it's worth four, and three, it's worth six points. Getting to ten points is all you need to do to win the game. You can play up to two action cards uh, on your turn, if you would like, and do different things with those. And then afterwards, you're going to pass. And then players are going to continue going around the board, playing cats where they'd like, and trying to score those points and avoid poops. At the end of your turn, you're always going to uh, basically determine how much uh, poop the cats do, and then how much you're going to reduce based on whether you have a litter box uh, scooper or whatnot, and uh, if you ever hit 10, you're going to lose as far as poops go. But if you get 10 points and then you get 10 poops, you'll actually win. So you just need to have those 10 points of cats. That's the most important thing. But if you don't have those 10 points in cats and you have 10 points of poops, you're out. First person to 10 is the winner. Let's go ahead and show you how to play. So here we have the game. Too many poops all set up for three players. It can, however, play with more players if you'd like up to six. There's the litter box underneath each player. And of course, as you get more poops, you're going to move this up. And you've got your cards in hand. Three action cards, two cat cards. There's a player reference over here to keep track of how the turns go. And then there's going to be the two sets of cards along with your tableau of three to choose from or like three different cards at each set to choose from you just flip them to the top of the deck over here and the top of the deck over here the cat's name who they're rivals with and uh, of course the actions here to begin a turn we'll just go ahead and start with this fine looking gentleman over here and he is going to play a cat up uh, play, play a cat like this somebody else is going to play a cat like this and somebody else is going to play a cat like this you can choose between each one you want and then afterwards flip 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 Beautiful. And then the first player will now start. So he's going to go ahead and draw two cards. He has four, so he gets to draw up to six. He can choose them from here or from here, and he can draw them in any order that he wants. Maybe he'll take a scoop for later in case he needs to gather, to collect some more poops. And then maybe he wants, well, let's see. We have Charlie and Sheila here. 
and they're rivals with Rainer and Jansen. Is there any Rainer or Jansen? No, there isn't, so we need to worry about that. Uh, so maybe he wants a cat like Emma, because Emma is actually a wild cat, which means it's a wild color. This is a light blue, and this is all the cat colors. So right now he has two of the same color, which means he's going to have a total of four points right now. That's pretty useful. Uh, so he's played his cat to start the uh, turn off, but he's first going to have to draw two cards. So he's got uh, six cards in hand. So then he goes ahead and he plays his first... Oh, sorry. He had this one. Then he played this. So now he's got his six cards. He played one cat. Now he can play two action cards. These are the actions you can play in his hand. There's a nope card that stops players from playing actions on you. You've got swapping, which allows you to swap cats from a home or to any other home. You have donate, move a cat uh, from the pet store into any home, which is basically the wild area over here. And then we have a scoop. You may don't want to play any of these, I don't think. So instead of playing them, you can choose, if you'd like, to discard them. So I'll discard this this donate card here, and I'll discard this swap card here. So that way he can draw up to six on his next turn. He's got two cats, he's got four points, he's gonna gain two poops. Oh, let's flip this over. Two poops, signifying that he's getting closer to having too many poops. All right, so now the next player's turn it is, and she's gonna go ahead and draw her two, or these get filled in, and then she's gonna go ahead and draw to her two cards. She's got some litter box, some mystery poops, a lure, uh, and she has to play her cat too. Well, let's go ahead and start. We want, let's take this card here, a bonus, and we'll go ahead and check, take Jeff over here, and then we're gonna go ahead and play a card, so let's go ahead and play uh, Achilles. No, mm, yeah, Achilles, Achilles. Now they're only worth one point apiece because they're two, two different separate colors, but luckily for her, she can play things like Mystery Poops on a player. Mystery Poops is going to add an additional poop to the litter box per turn. It stays in play permanently. And she can also then give herself a litter box, which removes a poop per turn. She's played her two actions. She's played her cat. She then is going to go up two poops, one and two. But then she's going to go down one because of the litter box. Nice handy little card there. And passes turn once again. The next player is going to go ahead and look at his hand. Going to go ahead and fill in these cards here, drawing two. Two of them, we'll go with Biscuit over here, and then uh, we'll go with a uh, random card from the top. And now he's gonna go ahead and play something. Let's see, well, does Biscuit have any rivals? He doesn't. How about Luna over here? No, doesn't look like it. So uh, we'll go ahead and play it Luna, I suppose. We've got a swap, a nope. We have a reg regift, which is move any modifier card and play to another home. So we'll play a, a regift on this litter box and give it to him because he likes that idea. And then he'll save these cards. I think he likes them all. He doesn't need to go ahead and discard any of them. Then he's going to go up two poops. He's going to go down because of the litter box. And once again, the next player's turn. And players are just going to continue playing this way, making sure that you're always going to refill your spots over here. You're always going to make sure that if you get a rival. So let's say, let's see if I have any here that I can show you. We've got a rival of Rainer, Teeny, Marlo, Jansen, Snarf. I don't think so. Maybe we can go in here and look. Penny. There she is. Okay. So in this case, if this player here had um, Munker, right, and has a rival of Penny, and somebody played Penny on this character, this player as well, these guys flip over. They're whites now, so they're not worth any points at all. And they actually give you poops still. You don't have to you have to move them around because when they're together like this, they are going to give a neg they're going to give a negative effect of increased poops, right? So that is basically how the rivals work. And there's quite a lot of different cards in here. Most of them are going to be just cards that affect the game in some way instantly, like these white cards. Then you have the mystery poops, which are as a negative, the litter box, which is a positive that stays in play, and um, you also have these nopes, which stop action cards from being played. Uh, it's pretty easy to uh, get to those ten points once. Once you get three of the same color and then maybe two of the same color, that is going to be 10 points to win you the game. However, as you go up in poops, you're going to flip this card over. And if you ever go up to here, too many poops, you're out of the game. So uh, basically the last person to survive or the first person to 10 points is going to be winner of the game. Too many poops. I hope you get the idea of it. Huh. All right, let's talk about it. So let's talk about too many poops. Well, the first thing I noticed with this game is it's a cat game. So of course the internet is going to like it. That's generally how it works with cat games. Uh, I take a look at the artwork first. Of course, it has these cute little kittens and they're all basically the same artwork, but they have different shades in all of them. Uh, that's fine. I was of hope that maybe different types of cats but of course that would be, of course be more money to have different types of cats different more artwork around uh the game is going to be basically trying to juggle back and forth how many poops and how, how much points you have and players are going to have to go and try and stop other players from getting those points while managing their own 
area as well. Uh, another thing to note too is, is if you die in the game or you acquire too many poops technically it just means that you shouldn't be caring for ca cats because you can't clean the litter box in so which case you're going to discard your hand you'll be removed from the game and all the cats that you have in play are going to go to the wild or the park whatever you want to call it the, the wild space that players can then take from um and so what do i think about this game i mean it's it's a, it's a simple card game it has a cool little theme it's cute it's kind of like uh kiddish and that you need to control your cats and whatnot the theme does come out in the game because obviously each cat you have is going to be pooping sometimes uh other cats if you leave your cat litter box outside will come in and poop which is going to be those mystery poops and then of course if you have a litter bot it's going to help you remove poops from your <laughs> I keep saying poops. Keep saying poops with this. All right, whatever. <laughs> and so you're just trying to hoard cats. If you can hoard enough cats uh, the, of the right type that don't dislike each other, you're going to win the game. And it's cute. I like that aspect of it. Um, it took me, I don't know why it took me a little bit of time to understand how it worked, I guess. Uh, I didn't actually realize the points were that were this way when which you're going to be gaining colors. It tells you in the bottom here how it works. And of course, uh, different colors are, are not going to give you multiple points. So you want to make sure you get the same type of, of, of cats. And that way it's going to increase your point value. It's a really simplistic game. It's fun. It's really quick. It's really easy. I wasn't sure when we first played the first playtest before we got into actually going the next day and playing multiple times. I was like, I don't know if we have time to do this. Got to take my cameraman to work. But we actually played it really, really, really relatively quickly. We learned the game in about five or six minutes. And then we played the game in about 10 minutes with a, uh, one, two, three, four players. So it works as far as that goes. I would probably suggest multiple players. Uh, what you see is kind of what you get in this game. It's not a huge deep strategy type of a game, but it does have strategy involved. You do have to watch your opponent's tableaus as well as your own. You have to, not only that, it gives that a little additional aspect of the poops, which you have to kind of modify what you're doing as you also try and mess over your opponents. And you can't do as much take that as probably you would like because you're more concerned with staying in the game than you are with stopping your opponents. So it gives it a little less competitive. Like it doesn't feel like a straight take that card game as much as most of these type card games would feel. Um, if you like cats, if you like the sound of this type of game, you'll enjoy this game. It's a fun game. If somebody asked me to play it, I'd pop it out and play it again. I'd like to see some better artwork in the game, or at least additional artwork. There's only three types of characters, and those characters get repeated, so hopefully they increase the amount of artwork in it. I'd like to see the different types of cats, although I do think that this guy is kind of cute. And of course, you've already seen the other artwork for this. It's basically like cat clip art, so. Overall, internet, it is up to you to decide what you think about uh, too many poops. A cute little card theme that's right on the level for me. All right, in the description below, currently on Kickstarter, too many poops. Poops. All right, poops, thanks for pooping another unfiltered poop. If you want to check out more poop, go in the description below, currently on Poop Starter. If you also would like to check out some other stuff, go to our website, unpooperedgamer.com. Tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarters, and poop. Also, do go ahead and check out our friends and uh, associates at everythingpoopgame.com and the Giveaway Poop. Two great sites that give you great giveaways and, of course, great poops. All right, guys, that's all I got for this time. And as always, I look forward to pooping with you, pooper. Poop. All right, poops, thanks for pooping another unpoopered video. We look forward to pooping with you in our next uh, uh, pooping review. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try that again. <laughs>